यू ऑल वेलकम बैक टू पब्लिक कनेक्शन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू सेंड व्हाट्सएप मैसेज ऑन गूगल फॉर्म सबमिशन यूजिंग ए आई सेंसी सो डू यू ऑल्सो विश टू सेंड एन ऑटोमेटेड व्हाट्सएप मैसेज टू ऑल योर गूगल फॉर्म रिस्पॉन्सेज देन दिस वीडियो इज डेफिनेटली फॉर यू सो वर हेर आई वन दी सेम सो आई एम मैनेजिंग द कस्टमर इंटरेक्शन फॉर एन इवेंट्स कंपनी एंड वी यूज गूगल फॉर्म्स टू कलेक्ट दी रजिस्ट्रेंस डिटेल्स सो नाउ वट आई वॉन्ट इज दट एस एन एज अ न्यू गूगल फॉर्म इज सबमिटेड विच इज एस एन एज वी कलेक्ट दी न्यू रजिस्ट्रेन डिटेल्स and automated whatsapp message should be sent to that registrant so that i can maintain effective communication so to do this we are going to create a connection between google forms and ai sensi to create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language we are going to use public connect it is an amazing automation software so i'm going to create this connection because i want to reduce the no shows of my events so do you also wish to learn this process step by step then let me take you to my computer screen Welcome to my screen. So as you know in this video we are going to understand how to send WhatsApp message on Google Form submission using AI Sensei. So as you know that I manage customer interactions for a events company and we often use Google Forms to gather attendee information for our events. So now to enhance our communication process what I want is the last one as the new form is submitted in my Google Forms which is as soon as the new registration is made for the event automatically and WhatsApp message it should be sent to that registrant so this ensures a prompt communication improves attendees experience and reduces the manual follow up efforts reducing the no shows of my event so to do all of this i have simply opened the landing page of publi by searching publi.com/connect in my browser it is very easy so as soon as we are going to open the landing page of publi we are going to get two options one is sign in and the another one is sign up for free so if you are new you can click on sign up for free and you are going to get 100 of dollars free every month but i'm an existing user so i'm going to click on sign in right over here and as soon as we are going to click on sign in it is opening all publi apps over here you can see all the tools and applications offered by publi but in today's video we are going to use publi connect because we are connecting different applications so i'm going to click on access now right over here to access my publi's account and as soon as we are going to click on access now you can see that now it is opening my dashboard and to start with the automation we are going to click on this button which says create one. workflow and now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder i want to save the workflow in so i want to save the workflow in this folder which is automations and i want to name my workflow as how to send whatsapp message on google form submission using ai sensi and then we are going to click on create and as soon as we are going to click on create it is opening the most important window of our automation which is our workflow window so this is the most important window because we have trigger an action in this trigger means when this happens an action means do this so by By this, you can understand that the triggers the commander for the workflow, and actions follow the commands. And as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers. So over here, we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger. So now we are going to select that trigger application to start with our automation. So for the trigger application, I am going to select it as Google Forms. So for that, I am going to search for Google Forms right over here. And as you can see, the same. So we are going to select it. And now for the trigger event, we are going to select it as New Response Received. And as soon as we are Going to select this, you can see that it is giving me a web book URL. So we are going to use this same web book URL in order to create a connection between our Google Forms account and our Publi's workflow. So what we are going to do is we are going to copy this web book URL and then we are going to follow this help text right from here to connect. So first, it is saying log into your Google Forms account. So I am going to open my Google Forms and as you can see that this is the form I want to create this automation for. So you first have to open your form right over here and now after opening your form, you have to go on responses right from here. and as soon as you are going to go on responses you can see that i'm going to get an option of you in sheets right over here because i've already linked this form with my sheets so if you haven't linked this form with your sheets you are going to get the option of link with sheets so as soon as you're going to link this form with your sheets you are going to get this option and after getting this option we are going to click on view in sheets and as you can see that this is the sheet already created with the help of that particular button and now we are going to create a connection between our google forms account and our publi's workflow with the help of this spreadsheet only so what we are going to do is we are going to go on extensions and then add ons and then we are going to go and get add ons so we are going to add an extension right over here in order to create a connection and over here to add this extension we are going to search for publi connect web books in search app so i'm going to search for publi connect and then web books and as you can see the same so we are going to open this and as you can see that i've already installed this extension that's why it is showing me the option of uninstall right over here so if you have it installed this extension 
extension you are going to get the option of install and as soon as you're going to install this extension you have to refresh this spreadsheet so it is a really important step to refresh this spreadsheet so now after refreshing this spreadsheet we have to go on extensions again and over here you can see Pabli connect web books will appear and as soon as this is going to appear we have to go on initial setup and as soon as we're going to open the initial setup it is asking me for the sheet web book url and the trigger column so as you can see that this is my sheet so we are going to select the same right over here and now for the web book url we are going to paste the url we copied from our workflow and now it is asking me for the trigger column and in the help text it is saying the trigger column will be your final data column so over here for me the final data column is i so i'm going to enter the same right over here and then we are going to click on submit and as soon as we are going to click on submit it is saying setup configured successfully so i've entered i right over here you have to enter your final data column right over here and after connecting this with our workflow yes we have successfully created a connection between our google forms and our pabli's workflow but now what it is saying it is saying waiting for webhook response and in the notes it is saying do a test submission slash record so in order to capture this webhook response we have to do a test submission and in order to do this test submission what we are going to do is we are going to open our sheets again again we are going to go on extensions pabli connect webhooks and over here you can see the button of send on event so first we have to switch this button on right from here because this means that as soon as a new event is going to occur in my spreadsheet automatically the details would be sent to my workflow so yes we are going to switch this button on it is a really crucial step right over here and after switching this button on now we are going to do the test submission so i'm going to put my google forms and then we are going to click on preview the form so i'm going to preview this form and do the test submission with the dummy details so suppose i'm going to register for this event which is power of automation so now for the name i'm going to keep it as dummy user so i'm going to enter it right over here we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the email so i want the email as dummy at the rate pablitudes.com we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the phone number so i want the phone number to be this right over here so i'm going to enter the phone number and now it is asking me for the organization so i'm going to keep the organization as pablicon right over here so i'm going to enter it so as you know all of these are the dummy details we are going to move on forward for the dietary restrictions i'm going to keep it as vegetarian any specific areas of automation are you most curious about so i'm going to keep it as social media automation it is saying how did you hear about this a webinar so i'm going to select it as social media and now after doing all of this it is saying current automation experience so i'm going to enter no i don't have any right over here and now after entering it we are going to click on submit and as soon as we are going to click on submit yes you can see that we have successfully did this test submission and yes we have successfully completed our form too and now what has happened is that over here you can see that in my spreadsheet the details has been added of the test submission we did just now so yes with this we have successfully did this test submission and this means that google forms and spreadsheet has sent the details of this test submission to our workflow so i'm going to put my workflow and check for the response received and yes you can see that we have received the response a and you can see all the same details you can see the phone number that we entered the organization that we entered you over here you can see the name you can see how did you hear about this webinar and also you can see another details that we entered the email the current automation experience and the dietary restrictions so yes with this we have successfully completed our trigger step and now what i want is i want to send an automated whatsapp message to this registrant so for that we are going to add an action step right over here and now for the action application we are going to select it as ai sensi because i want to send an automated whatsapp message with the help of ai sensi only so i'm going to search for ai sensi right over here and as you can see whatsapp by ai sensi so i'm going to select same right over here to send an automated whatsapp message and now for the action event we are going to select it as send template message and then we are going to click on connect and as you can see that it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection so if you have already connected your whatsapp by asnc account with a pabli's workflow then you have to click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't connected this anytime prior you have to follow me click on add a new connection and now it is asking me for the api key so to get this api key we are going to follow the help text and it is saying enter the api key here from your asnc account to obtain the api key log into your account navigate to the manage section then go to api key and click on generate api key button so we are going to follow this same right over here i am going to open my asnc account and as you can see that this is my asnc account and i have already logged in it and now after opening this account i am going to first show you my template that i have already created for that we are going to go on manage right from here and as you can see that we have created a template right over here which is this event registration over here you can see the template details and with the help of the same template only i have created a campaign too i am going to open that campaign also over here you can see the campaign automation event so you can see that i have already created 
create a campaign and a template right over here so it is really important to first create a campaign and a template right over here and now after doing this we are going to go on manage to get the api key so i'm going to go on manage right from here and as soon as we are going to go on manage you can see api key so we are going to open this and as you can see that this is my api key so i'm going to copy this key and then we are going to paste it right over here in our workflow and after pasting this api key we are going to click on save and as soon as we are going to click on save you can see that it is saying connected right over here yes we have successfully connected our asnc account with our pabli's workflow and now it is asking me for the campaign name so as i told you that i've already created a campaign right over here with the name automation event so i'm going to enter the same name right over here so you have to keep in mind that you have to definitely create a campaign before starting with this automation so i'm going to enter the campaign name same as same right over here which is the campaign name automation event we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the mobile number so i'm going to enter the mobile number of the recipient right over here so over here you can see that we are going to map this so mapping is a method by pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step and as you know our previous step was the trigger step where we selected google forms as our trigger application so we are going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only and as soon as we are going to map these details automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new response received in my google forms so i'm going to give you an example that suppose in front of mobile number i'm going to enter a dummy phone number like this manually then this will not change with every new response received because this is a static information and i've entered it manually but if we are going to map it from the previous response over here you can see the mobile number so suppose we are going to map this from the previous response then yes this will definitely change because my previous response will also change so that's why we do mapping right over here to run our workflow in real time and after mapping the mobile number over here you can see enter the mobile number of the user with the country dial code so you have to enter the mobile number with the country dial code and over here i am in india so i'm going to add the dial code right over here manually because i want this dial code to remain static and the number to be dynamic so that's why we are going to enter the country code right over here and all of my registrants are from india only so that's why i've entered the india's dial code right over here and after entering this we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the user name and again in the help text it is saying enter the name of the user to whom the campaign has to be sent so i'm going to map the name over here i'm going to search for name and as you can see the name dummy user so we are going to map this and now after mapping this we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the source and the tag so as you can see both of these are not the required field so i'm going to leave it as blank and move forward it is asking me for the template parameters so to let you know what does this mean i'm going to open my template first and over here you can see that this is my template i want to send the message of and as you can see that this message it's static but over here you can see that there's one in curly brackets so this means that one is a variable right over here so yes this one will change with every new response received in my google forms so what i want this that this one should be replaced with the name of my registrant every time so that each of my registrants receive a more personalized message so how i want to send the message is which is awesome new suppose dummy user and then the rest of the message so what we are going to do this over here it is saying for the template parameters so we're going to map the name of a registrant right over here for that i'm going to search for name and as you can see dummy user so we are going to map this so it's over here you can see that in my template we have only a single variable but if you have multiple variables in your template you have to enter the parameter value in comma separated so suppose i have multiple right over here so i'm going to put a comma then map the another then put a comma then map the another but, but over here you can see that in my template we have only a single so we have mapped the same right over here only and now we're going to move on forward it is asking me for some more details so if you wish you can definitely add these details and then click on save and send test request but as you can see that these are not the required fields so directly i'm going to click on save and send test request but before clicking on this you can see that this is a dummy phone number so i'll just replace this dummy phone number with my original phone number so that i can show you the message received so yes i'm going to replace this and yes you can see that i've successfully replaced this phone number and now we are going to move on and click on save and send test request and as soon as we are going to click on save and send test request you can see success true yes this means that we have successfully sent a whatsapp message to our registrant so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open my whatsapp and check for the new whatsapp message received so i'm going to open my whatsapp right from here and yes you can see that we have successfully received a new whatsapp message from asnc over here you can see awesome news dummy user you can see the rest of the message yes we have successfully sent this message to our registrant and yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow too but i'll just test this workflow once and this time i am going to give you a real time example so what we are going to do is we are going to open our google forms again and we are going to refresh this page and do another test submission to check our workflow and this time for the name i'm going to keep it as test user 
users so for that i'm going to enter test user right over here manually and then we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the email right over here so i want the email to be test user at the rate publitudes.com and now for the phone number i'm going to enter a random phone number over here you can see that this is the phone number so i'm going to enter it right over here and now it is asking me for the organization so i want the organization to be and now it is asking me for the dietary restriction so i'm going to keep it as none for the specific areas i'm most curious about i'm going to keep it as marketing automation and over here it is saying how did you hear about this webinar so i'm going to keep it as website and then we don't want to add this current automation experience so directly i'm going to click on submit and as soon as we are going to click on submit yes you can see that we have successfully submitted this form and this means that we have successfully did the test submission and also this means that google form has sent the details of this test submission to our spreadsheet and then for the spreadsheet send these details to our workflow public capture the response trigger the workflow and for those sent an automated whatsapp message to our new registrant so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open my whatsapp and check for the new whatsapp message received and this time we are not going back to our workflow and clicking on save and send test request i'll directly open my whatsapp right from here and as you can see that we have received a new whatsapp message awesome news test user you can see the rest of the message the same only the name has been changed over here you can see the both messages we received during this video with the help of our workflow so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow and i'll just summarize this workflow for you once for the trigger application we selected google forms and then for the trigger event we selected new response received and then for the action application we selected whatsapp by asnc and then for the action event we selected send template message because i wanted that as soon as the new response is received in my google form which is that as soon as the new registration is made for my upcoming event automatically with the help of the same details and automated whatsapp message should be sent to my registrant so this ensures prompt communication improves attendee experience and reduce the manual follow up efforts also this can help me reduce the no shows of my events so yes with this we have successfully completed this workflow and yes we were successful with our workflow too you can see the two messages i sent during this video with the help of my workflow one to dummy user and the another one to test user so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow and if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow you can directly comment on this video and for your reference i'll just clone this workflow and share the workflow link in the description box so that you can access my workflow i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but with the help of pabli you can integrate many more applications so now if you have any doubts you can reach us at support@pabli.com if you have any queries you can reach us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can follow this website and if you find our videos helpful do like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching